AM 970 WSTX. But I see here on our agenda now, right here on, on the 23rd. What is the 23rd? Let's see, the 22nd is... Okay, it's, th- it's Friday. Friday. Wait a minute. Walk out Fridays, folks. You want to walk out? Hey, Shalita got something for you. All right. <laughs> Shalita got something for you. M- music and motion, Shalita and Zumba, they all teaming up. Oh. Tell me a little bit about what you got going on here with this healthy lifestyle challenge. Yes. Um, well, you know, a lot of people in the community is always asking me, you know, Shalita, you know, why don't you put on an adult program? And we, you know, Music Emotion has been really geared to the youth, and we still are. It's number one in our books. You know, we work with children 3 to 19. We look for them, you know, to, to live a healthy lifestyle as, you know, young people. But... Um, we've been getting a lot of knocks on the doors and phone calls, you know, can you do something for adults? So I didn't want to do anything for adults that didn't have to do with the change and as far as changing their lifestyle and not just coming in and working out and, and still doing your own thing. So I decided to get into a nutrition program. It had to match. The exercising and the nutrition had to come together. You cannot just do the exercise and then go home and have that really juicy, big, nice plate of food that you just dine and get to after the workout, it's not, that's not going to work. You're not Ice cream with plenty of caramel. Yes, you're not, you're not going to get the lifestyle that you're looking for and the healthy lifestyle. Yeah, I hear So you. I combined together nutrition and the exercising. And so um, and a team of other women joined with me. And we all said, let's get together and make a team, a, a reason. So I went to... Um, a um, Ogama um, in Tampa. They had a um, nutrition seminar. So I went for three days. And I learned how to cleanse and how to clean your body, how to live a better lifestyle, how to eat um, proper foods and vegetables, and how to drink certain drinks that you should drink to lose the weight. Now, you know, I don't need to lose the weight. But... That's fine, everyone. You know, say, oh, Shalita, you know, you, you don't need to lose <laughs> No, I don't. But I need to maintain, maintain the so, weight that I have. And that's so important because a lot of people think about nutrition in the context of losing weight. And it's not just about losing weight. It's about giving your body the balance right. for what the is right for your body. Right. The nutrition. Yeah. And um, I have to, you know, and I say to people, um, small people like myself, very petite people have to, they have the same problem that you may have in losing, we have in maintaining weight on our bodies. It's not that easy, okay? Because our, our metabolisms are all different. Mm-hmm. So you have to learn which, where your metabolism is and how to maintain certain things for your body and to get rid of certain things for your body. So that's what this is about. Now, we're meeting every Friday. We have a wonderful workout. and. It's about the lifestyle. We're, we're, challenge, we're asking you to join in for us for 90 days challenge. And to, we weigh you. We take your size. You know, it's all private. We work out together. You learn your nutrition program. We get you on a nutrition program. And that is very, very important to learn the nutrition program and maintain that for 90 days. And then see at the end of the 90 days where you lie. Yep. And so we have a lot of, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of different things. Now, um, Mancia um, Diaz, she is the one that's in charge of the exercising and the nutrition. But we're going to have different visitors come in to talk about nutrition, dental care, um, hair care, facials. We're going to take you through a, a complete different lifestyle. So by Christmas, you're looking beautiful. And so that's what our goal is. All right. Well, I, I like that approach because, you know, it, it, it makes sure you don't get to, into the working out and nutrition to the point of monotony. It's always this nice v- a variety of things that you're learning that's piquing the mind and looking forward to next week. <laughs> yes. And that's, a, that's important because, you know, folks need all the support they can get in terms of there's so many things competing in our community. All right? It's like I tell people, for me, it's like, okay, if you catch me after 9 o'clock and catch me before 2 o'clock, because in the morning, it's a school drop. In the afternoon, it's a school pickup. And then after the school pickup, there's track. 
there's music, there's this, there's that, and it's like, oh my goodness, I, I can, can I get my life back? No, I gave that up. <laughs> I gave that up. I signed the papers and gave it up. Yes. <laughs> the time that, that, that new life came into the world, I gave it up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's um that's one one of the things that um that uh, happens. Okay, and I, I see here now. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are supporting it. your challenge here because you telling them also it's like okay folks you know what the discipline is you know what you're supposed to do and um, yes uh, you're still supposed to stick to it but if you don't <laughs> we'll be here next Friday and you might have a but if you don't moment here <laughs> because I see that you have a grand big sale that's right this saturday <laughs> all right yes. so you're gonna work out and work right. them out extra hard on friday <laughs> well we're having the grand bake sale mm -hmm. by banca popular mm -hmm. in sunny islands and this is to support the children's travel fund because you know every summer we have students that go off to different um training institutions to continue on their dance training okay. and so and it's very costly um, for parents so we're starting very early this year and now and this is our first fundraise and we're asking the community to come out and support now hold on you said about the um, challenge no we're still gonna have our nutritional drinks out there we're gonna show you a nutritional way of enjoying bake sale okay um, you don't have to purchase anything but we have our deposit box where you can make a donation amen okay so you don't have to purchase anything you That's can still right. or you can have a nice hot cup of tea with this a nice natural tea that we're having or the hot coffee that we're going to have and this is a nutritional coffee not the regular deep um you know, how, how you say i don't have decaf I yeah have i don't i don't drink coffee yeah. i'm a tea drinker but we have the um, nutritional teas, the nutritional coffees, and the nutritional cocos. And if you want a shake, you know, I think that we're going to have a little shake out there too. Because we have to have natural. We have to have, um, in Sunny Isles, they have rules and regulations. You can't sell sodas and so forth. You can have um, the, the local drinks and natural, you know, stuff like that. So we're having all that is local. So we want you to come out and support us. Now we're going to be out there bright and early at seven o'clock in the morning all right okay because by 12 o'clock we know that st croix has come out and support us we're going to be gone mm -hmm. okay and of course the studio is going to be open but if you want to come by the studio also and drop off a, do um, a donation you can drop off a donation to the travel fund well, we love to have your donation and we love to see you too well folks this is how you do it because the the bottom line is if you know you're not supposed to eat that cookie just come on and make your donation and keep right on going okay? right uh, but at the same time too you know and I tell people I, I see they have uh, car wash and different things going on you know I say if you let me know in advance and I'm supporting you I'll come by and make a donation if I can't stop mm -hmm. and that's the right that's the right way to deal with it because a lot of people are willing to support but one you got to give them notice which is why I have you in here today to make sure that they know what's going on and that they have an opportunity to get out there and support all right and um, and that way they know that hey if you already had a, a thousand things going on Saturday you gotta get from point A to point B just drive up put the money on the window say That's hey it. folks here's yours and then they take it and you go on ahead and do what you gotta do and the, 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 I want to talk about this program this uh, the, the you see <clears throat> music and motion in addition to what you're doing here you make connections with reputable and prestigious schools and programs all around in, U in the United States in particular. Yes. And some of your, your students, either by competition or by scholarship through participating in your program and your recommendation, apply to and are accepted to these programs. Yes. And uh, some of these programs ain't exactly cheap. No, not at all. No, okay? Not at all. So. It's one of those things, if you're really serious, you've got to rise to the occasion. And I have to commend you and Music in Motion 
for rising to the occasion over the years to make sure that our students look beyond just coming to practice and doing a performance now and then, but looking toward the bigger picture of becoming one day the international star or just satisfying that need inside of them Yes. to, to, to go a, a step further. So I, I think that's really, really great. Well, I've been um, educating the parents mm -hmm. and the students, but mainly the parents, that scholarship opportunities is big in the dance world. It is not small. It is big. And we um, Virgin Islanders have not been applying for them like we should. And so I am pushing that, really pushing that. And matter of fact, in my um, training curriculum this year, I am teaching the high school students how to apply for grants. That is part of my training this year. Teaching them, getting behind the computer, plugging in, pulling it out and filling out these applications yourself. Do not wait on mom and dad. Yep. You cannot wait on your school counselor. You have to know how to do these things for yourself because the, the grants and the, and the scholarships are out there, mm -hmm. but you have to do it on your own. You have to take that time to do that. Well, so I, that's what I'm working on this year with the kids. I, I, I hear you. I'm going to tell you, right? You have those students that respond to that, and you got a set of them out there. <coughs> I think I know somebody who might have been kind of like that. The, the parents just got to take them by the ear, yes. <laughs> twist oh, the yes. ear and drag them off and make them fill out. The, and in some cases, the parents actually do the filling out, send the child off or take them off. And then later on, the child wakes up and says, Mom, Dad, thank you so much because I don't know what part my brain did. <laughs> <laughs> right. And now that I see this, it's like thank you so much. So it, what you're doing is is the same is the same in, in the sense that you you're putting it in their face. Oh, definitely. Yes, yes. I yes. have a young lady right now. She's 18. Um, she's working with me in the office, and I, you know, I spoke to both her parents, and her parents had to tell her straight out, look, get down to music emotion. You know, Ms. Schuster is working with you. She's dying. She wants to work with you. She wants to help you. And I put her behind the computer and I said, look, sit down here and let's do this. You have to do this. Mm -hmm. No one's going to come knocking at your door talking about, oh, by the way, I heard you do a good dancer. Um, you want to come and join me? No, you better start knocking on their knocking door. Knocking on their door. Okay, and you've got to fill out these applications. And so right now we are, I told her we're going to be filling out about 10 different applications, not only for scholarships and so forth and so on but also for job opportunity mm -hmm. dance job opportunity and everything is online yep. and they have to just fill it out online yep 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 and 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 this this is this is what you have to do these days um you know i i, I tell my daughter i say your your brain is your ticket to everything that you want yes all right so yeah you might like hanging out with these friends going to movies or doing this but your brain because when they get this, they ain't sharing it with you. No. They gone about their business. Yes. <laughs> and you're going to be there saying, well, why, I, what's happening? Yes. Uh-uh. No, -uh. no, 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 no. Your brain is your ticket to your education. Right. So don't, don't, don't play around. And the other thing, too, and, uh, I, you know, I, I, I know you. I'm going I gon to call you a pushy person in the mm -hmm. most positive sense. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're a no pushy problem. person. Okay? <laughs> no problem. No, I, but I'm serious in, yes. in, in that. In that, a lot of our children need that. Yes. In this day and age, of letting children find out who they are and you know this and that, and all this kind of laissez faire, laid back. Uh uh. A lot of children don't know what they want, so you got to push them into areas to get exposure. Once they get exposure, then they're in a position to say, you know, I like this, but I don't like that, or I like both, or whatever the case may be. But then they have a sense of direction. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's like Russian roulette, and you don't want to do that mm -hmm. with your child. You don't want to do that with well, anybody. Well, times have changed, duh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I was raising my children, it's very different now. Okay, technology has stepped in yep. and took control over what our children think and do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and working with children on a daily basis, I see it daily in the studio. It's an everyday basis. But... The dance world has stepped into technology also as well and said, look, we need to catch up. We can't just teach pirouettes and grand jetés anymore. Mm -hmm. We have to also know the technology of how we're going to reach these dancers because a lot of these performers and dancers don't have the money and the funds to come to the auditions. So now the auditions are online. You have to film yourself. You have to have a video of yourself and you plug it in online. You don't have to attend 
the institution to make an audition anymore. You can do that online. Mm -hmm. And lots of my students, all of my students, matter of fact, have been auditioning online, sending in their videos, sending in their work. We tape everything at the studio. We, we use um, um, form, you know, some of my shows. Mm -hmm. We show, you know, we do clips and everything, and we have people like yourself come and help us and edit it and do certain things, and we plug it in online, and that's how they've been accepted. Yep. So it's it's a lot it's a lot of work. I'm not saying that it's not work, but once you get the go and you know how to do it, it becomes very easy. Mm -hmm. Not only that, everything takes work. Yes, everything and they takes. love, believe it or not, every institution that Music in Motion has applied for, we have never been turned down yet. Fantastic. Never been we've been accepted to every single one of them. Fantastic, fantastic. And and the thing is, you can get if you don't ask. <laughs> You can it's, a, get it's, it. it's a knock on the door. Yeah, you got knock, to knock on, on the, the door, door and, and you have to speak for yourself. You have to show them what you can do. All right, all right, good, good. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna take a, a, a quick break, and when we come back, I'm gonna touch on a couple of things and come full circle back to, to music and motion and things that you got going on here. I want to talk about our cultural education. Okay, folks, we'll be back. All right, we're back here in the studio, and we got Shalita Schuster, Miss Music in Motion in person. Thank Otherwise, you. telling us about some of these things that are going on with our young people, and and not so young, but still young at heart, that getting out there and saying, "Hey, we're gonna show these young folks how it's done." Okay, anyhow. Um, I want to just touch bases on a couple of things real quick, and then we'll come full circle right back to you here. And uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the bazaar, the fifth annual bazaar, Virgin Fresh Beekeepers on the Move, okay? And that's this Saturday at 10 a.m. in the morning at Sunshine Mall parking lot. When you pass by there, you're probably going to see a big tent and you're going to see the tables and the folks around there. It's an opportunity to see some of our beekeepers and let them show you what they've done in terms of products that they derive from the beekeeping and the, the, the honey and the honeycomb and everything. It's very, it's, it's very interesting. Candles, mead, beeswax, lip balm, lotion, honey vinegar, soaps, candies hey folks just drop on by it's educational take the children with you it's not like you're going to spend all morning there but expose your young people all right tell them when they see the bee flying around leave it alone the bee ain't interested in them and the bees help to make the fruits I, I i have that challenge all the time these young people see the bees and they try to kill i said no 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 no. you can't do that without the bees we have no fruits without the bees we're in trouble Make sure you understand that B is your friend, and they've got a job to do. Let them do their job. All right. And then on uh, several days later here, or so the, next, the following week, we've got the uh, Million Mother March that's scheduled for October 2nd, okay, at 6 a.m. I'm not going to go into any, any greater detail on that at this moment. We'll talk about that in our upcoming shows and, and also with uh, other... Um, other hosts are going to be talking about it also. But just putting it on your radar that October 2nd, uh, early move with the USVI Million Mother March. I don't tell all of them, husbands, wife, friends, significant others. And I tell them, in fact, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to tell you a secret, fellas. The, the ladies can't hear me talking, okay? I need you to listen carefully. I have another channel. You make sure you show up there and be right next to that lady, behind that lady, in front of that lady, but be there. Don't mind that they say, but this is Million Mother March. You the man show up there, all right, in support of what they're doing because ultimately we're going to be stronger together if we work together. All right? Good, good. Now, okay, back to everybody else now. Okay, I know y'all didn't hear and it was quiet there for a little bit, you know, but hey, I have to talk to the guys, okay? So, anyhow, moving right along with positive things here. All right, good, good. 
I ain't as good as Doc yet. I ain't got no imaginary friends, but I could talk to the guys. <laughs> Anyhow. Shalita, I see that we, in, in, in addition to what you're doing with our young people, you got your challenge here that's making sure that our adults get an opportunity to network, to commune, and otherwise be healthy through nutrition and exercise. Yes. All right, good, good. But I, I want to just um, zip back for just a quick second here because this September really marks the opening of a new dance season. Yes, it's my okay. new dance season. All right. And uh, so and tell me, what, what you all doing this for, for this new dance season? What, okay. what's, the, what's the plan? Um, dance season 2016-2017. Every single month is going to be an event. So, of course, the cake sale is our, uh, our first event. And, of course, and opening up our healthy lifestyle challenge, okay, for September, then October. I'm not going to let you know about October till October because I don't want everything to get right. confused. Right, no, 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 pick and so, choose. Right. September right. and then. Right, we're working on September. <laughs> so, e so every month you're going to see something new coming out of Music in Motion. Right. And all the funds that, we are ra uh, that we'll be raising and the things that we'll be doing, we're going to towards our children's travel fund. So if there's anything that you think that um, you'd like to come and donate, I, we don't care what it is. You know, even if you have old costumes, if, even if you was a, a former dancer from Music in Motion, and you know those dance costumes are sitting in your, your, um, in your little container collecting dust, all right, dance shoes, tap shoes, all those type of things, and you say, you know something, I'm going to donate them to Music in Motion. Please, the doors are open. Our doors are open Monday through Thursday, and of course on Friday now, and then all day on Saturday from 11 to um, 8 o'clock. And we, you know, we are accepting students still from ages 3 to 19 for the children's program. And I am the spokesperson for those children. You know, I have to get out there and really speak for them. Um, we teach um, ballet. We teach point. We teach tap, gymnastics, contemporary dance, cultural dance, and all the different dance forms. And um, we go from beginner through professional level. And let me make that clear. Beginner through professional level. Okay, we take your child all the way from the beginning of their, of their very first steps through the professional level so that they can have careers in dance. And right now, we have a young man dancing, signed his first contract, Shamari Simmons. I know hundreds and thousands of you know Shamari Simmons with his wonderful dance techniques that he learned from Music in Motion. He was a scholarship student at Music Motion and he just signed his first international dance contract. So, all right, congratulations, all right, all right. Shamari okay. Simmons. And I'm going to try hard for the Daily News and the Avis to write the beautiful story about him and how he graduated from college, has his degree, and then auditioned and made it to an international dance company. Um, I don't have the name of it right here, right now, no, but, no, no, um, okay. but well, it's hey, going to come out. So, so tell, him and, to put, tell him to and, make some time for me and come in. Give me at least 15 minutes okay. to talk about his journey. And well, where, he's, and where he's, he's in Atlanta right oh, now. He's, he's gone. Oh, right, well, right. But we, don't worry about it. The, we're going to do, we're going to get him to at least do no, a, a telephone call. Telephone call or something. Right. Definitely. Interview. And it's so exciting because he sent me the letter. I mean, he sent me the letter. You know what it is for a dance, for a artistic director such as myself, receiving the letter that you have been accepted to be a member of our dance company. And he's going nationwide. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so Music Motion is on the, on the roll. Then we have Amal Bryson. Everyone knows Amal Bryson mm -hmm. with his fabulous technique and form a scholarship student from Music in Motion from the age of 10, graduated from um, St. Croix Educational Complex with honors. He is now um, dancing, also auditioned for his university that he that he's attending, and he made that, that company. So the doors are open. The Virgin Island um, dancers are doing something coming from Music in Motion. Okay? They are becoming professional dancers. So we want you to know that when you come into Music Emotion School of Higher Dance Education, we are there to educate you and your child on how to make it a professional life in the world of dance. 
Fantastic, fantastic. All right. Now, uh, I, I see something here that's talking about cultural education, building our future through education, history, and culture. What's that all about? And what's that got to do with music and motion, Ms. Jalita? Well, I'll tell you, I want to know too. <laughs> so I saw the ad on Facebook, you know, so I had to call Miss Bryson, you know, to find out what is going on. Am I going to be a member of this? I mean, how can Music Motion fit in? And she told me to come into the meeting. So I came to the workshop and I was overwhelmed with, with knowledge that they, gave, that they gave me and several other, about 30 other people that attended. And they were looking for cultural bearers and people such as myself. And that can go into now that go into the Department of Education, into the schools, elementary, junior high, high school, and start teaching and, and bringing the culture to these children through education processes, okay, to develop their science and their, um, th their math, science, and their literacy program. So it's teaching them how to bring the scores up, okay, through fine arts, through your, the culture that we have and making it a learning process so that children that is a little di maybe difficult to learn certain things can learn, learn it through the dance form, through, through gardening, through whatever um, culture that we have to offer each of our students. Such yep. as, let me give you an example for dance. The counts are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I said to a student, I want three, three bars of eight in counts of dance, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's three sets of eight. So that's, that's, that's math. Mm -hmm. So that's how they learn how to count so they can understand it in math through the steps and learning with music and, and dance. Yep. So that's how I would do. Or I would take a costume and say, well, how many yards of fabric do you think that this um, quadrille dress needs to take? So we take a measuring and we start measuring how many yards it's going to take to make this, this cultural skirt or whatever. So they're learning math and measurements. Okay. So, and this is how we're going to build our children through our culture and the art and build up their their math their science and their literacy program sounds like balance sounds like a good balance because education is is a is a is a way of transporting information from the person who has it to the person who is hopefully seeking it and one of the things there is that sometimes we have have gone down the road of somehow trying to make it sterile where we say it's just math and you show a book of paper and numbers but there are a lot of practical ways every day that children deal with math and they need to learn that right so and and the the the, the, the fine arts and 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 culture uh are, are all integral parts of this and sometimes kind of yeah. tuning out but it's they're tuning up because the medium you're using, the angle you're using, just isn't the one that connects with them. So I, I like this because it's giving them another way to connect. Well, and that's what we wanted to do, to connect. You know, Doug, I told this story many a times, and I'll always continue to tell this story about myself. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, I wasn't, um, I was a slow learner. And people can't believe that. This is, are you kidding me? And I'm like, yes. I don't believe that. Okay. Convince me. But <laughs> if it wasn't for my, my parents, Earl and Thelma Schuster, and I, and I thank God for them, okay, that they were lovers of the, the performing arts. They love the performing arts. My father was, he can, he can sing and he loved jazz. And my mom, she was a type, of, a type of person that loved to go to the theater and always took us to the theater and, and plays and stuff. Well, finally, they, they put me into dance class. But a teacher came up to my, to my mom and she said, you know, you need to take Shalita out of those dance classes and get her to study her work and do, and do what she has to do. And my mother turned to the teacher and she said, no, I'm not going to do that. She said, because guess what? She's good at it. She's, this is the one thing that she's good at. And because she's so good at it, I'm going to continue to invest my money into this because this just may be her bread and butter. And sure enough, it became that. 
okay, if it wasn't for my parents to say, you know, it's not all about her getting those A's. It's about her being a person that she is with what's inside her. And they believed in me and they saw the love that I had for the arts and, and for the dance and that I was so good at it that um, I learned math through it. I learned music through it. I learned to communicate with people. I learned not to be shy. I learned not to be in, introverted. I learned to be a very powerful individual as, as I grew and so ensured that I knew what I was doing was, was a good thing. And I became a very strong woman in life. So that's all they wanted from me. So, um, and I, open, and I um, share that story with my community because I want them to look at their children and some are not straight A children and some are not gonna be on the honor roll and some are not gonna be on the principal's honor roll and all that great stuff that we want them. But they, your children, look in different avenues for your children. Open up other doors for your children. Come out of the box and really realize that your children, there are things out there for your children, but you have to make sure that they're happy learning. Happy learners well, our, will our, learn a lot. Our children have, have a lot of strengths. I should say all children have their strengths. And sometimes we, because as an institution in education, they, they get focused on this curriculum, that curriculum, the other curriculum. And, and there is no silver bullet. You have these areas that maybe 80%, 70% or more just kind of, of fit into, you know. But um, what happens to the other 30% or, or 40%, depending on how the numbers run? And we can't afford as a community to be suffering those kind of losses. So it's very, very important that we realize the diversity in our children and make the mechanisms available where that diversity can be tapped, okay? Because the, the, the unfortunate thing is that, uh, and, and I saw it, I saw it in parents who, like, for instance, video games, yeah, video games can be problematic if all you do is let your child play video games instead of doing their homework. Yeah, they're going to do poorly in school because, you, you know, it's just like sugar. It's a nice thing, but too much of it will rot your teeth. You, you as a parent, you have to exercise that judgment. In this case, Shalita is a teacher and the taskmaster, and she makes sure that there's balance, all right? But the, the bottom line is that everybody isn't the same, and like you said, you got to look for those strengths, and sometimes you just have to take them to something else, something that may not interest you. You might be surprised, and I say that. I've, I've seen it happen. The, the, the child who's never touched a musical instrument picks it up and starts playing it. Yes. Okay. Uh, and and, and the, the, the child who has a problem writing a, a paragraph, but all of a sudden they do a musical score. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, where did you get that skill from? It's kind of like a natural, and you've got to make it evolve, give it the opportunity to grow. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm catching a little something here in the Headphone here, something going on. Okay. But um, yeah, that that's what we got to do. So, anyhow, we're gonna take a, a quick break in a minute here. But Shalita, I, I really wish you the best in all that you're Thank doing, you. and I'm um, looking forward to hearing more about what Music is Motion in Motion is doing every yes. month. Yes. And uh, definitely, some of these scholarship students that are going on and doing these things, we gotta make an opportunity for a little radio interviews somewhere along the line. Oh, definitely. So they can keep the community abreast. Yes. Okay. All right. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in a moment. 